If you want to apply for a mail-in ballot for March's primary election, then you're running out of time. And new voting requirements mean local officials are rejecting more applications than usual this year. Our Pooja Lodia has more on how to make sure you'll be able to vote. March's primary election is coming up quickly. But since the beginning of 2022, one in three new mail-in ballot applications in Harris County have been rejected. Right now what we're seeing is about 11% rejection rate specific only to the new voting laws. So those new ID requirements, which brings our total to about a 30% rejection rate. In 2018 primary, which is kind of the last comparable year, we saw a 6% uh, rejection rate. Here's the application. When you send it in, you're now required to provide either a state issued ID like a driver's license number or the last four digits of your social security number. But here's the part that's confusing so many people. The ID method you provide must match what's already on your voter record file. So if you don't know what's on your voter record, just put both numbers. Your elections office should contact you if your application is rejected and they'll send you a new one too. You can also check the status online. And remember, you'll have to use the same ID when you send in your ballot. Give us as much information as possible. Most all of these applications are people over 65. And normally the vast majority of them are, come about as a, as a result of mailings by the two political parties. Pooja Lodia, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.